it was an epic storm. The prime timing of the lightning was between 6 and 11 p.m. on Saturday. This is a loop from the University of Washington. You see those X's in the red and the yellow. Yeah, that's the lightning in that four hour period. You can see a big batch of that lightning in around the sound at nine o'clock. As incredible as it was to watch, lightning is very dangerous. A spectacular lightning show over western Washington lit up the sky Saturday night. <laughs> Claps of thunder. Oh. Thousands of cloud to ground lightning. Come on, lightning. Oh! <laughs> An nice. unusual sight that had photographers patiently waiting for the perfect shot at Cary Park. By lightning when he's playing golf. Oh, got it. Oh. For a state that averages five to ten strikes per year, the National Weather Service counted 2,200 lightning strikes between 6 and 11 p.m. Saturday. That works out to 440 strikes per hour. Electrifying storm sent fairgoers scrambling for cover at the Washington State Fair in Puyallup. <laughs> and emptied out the bleachers at the University of Washington Huskies football game against the California Golden Bears, which was delayed for two hours. Mother Nature even made an appearance at the Muckleteo Lighthouse Festival's fireworks show. While lightning is beautiful to watch, it's equally as dangerous. According to NOAA, lightning killed 20 people in the United States in 2018. None here in Washington, but since 1959, there have been five lightning-related deaths. And as we enter the rainy season, there is no safe place outside when thunderstorms are in the area. So it's important to remember, when thunder roars, go indoors and stay there until 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder. Well, it's not likely we'll see a repeat event like Saturday, but isolated thunderstorms are possible this week. So if you hear thunder, you are likely within striking distance of the storm. So if you plan on being outdoors over the next several days, just be sure there's a place nearby where you can take cover. All right, guys, back to you.